Good morning, people. <laughs> totally got that music on. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign for you. I'll be there. Jess Glynn. All right. So before that, I take my evening walk with Heidi. I want to record the... Uh, Daily. What a magnificent day we have today. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> it just is. It is what it is today. And what it is, is quite significant. <laughs> so, candle on. Look at me not being afraid of it. 111. Not afraid of 111. <laughs> I did not tap into the energy. But there is something about being close, being close to something, being close to something. I don't know why that's significant, but today there might be something about being close to something, being close to your goals, your desires, finding love, whatever. We do have Sagittarius here, so optimism, exploration and freedom. Maybe there is something about exploring today, going on a, an adventure. I'm going to see puppies today. <laughs> I just realized that. Me, Greta and Heidi are going to cuddle with puppies. <laughs> How lucky are we? I will take the GoPro this time because the first time I wasn't sure if I was allowed to film the expensive puppies. <laughs> so I will do that. There will be puppy videos and puppy cam. Who doesn't want to have puppy cam? <laughs> oh, Libra! Maybe there's something about, well, saying that while we have Sagittarius and Libra. Maybe there's something about that. Consideration, fairness and harmony. So I do want to just take one card here and then one card of the Sacred Destiny before we dive deep, okay? So, we do have two cards. Mercury, isn't Mercury in retrograde now? Isn't there something about that? I didn't even know that was a thing that would happen already. <laughs> but again, it's not a bad thing. It's just like things from the past or it's like redoing something. Just paying attention if you need to redo something. It's everything that you can put re in front of. Think, learn, network and communicate. Individuality, self-image, and approach to life. House one. Look at the butterfly. And the bird. What is the thing that came through with the symbols? The, sim the symbols video. Birds. You see the sign of Taurus here. And light is being activated. Something new is ready to hatch. Look at that. What is that that's being ready to hatch? Yes, if you guys want to have uh, birds. I know my knee knees is trying to, is it called incubate? I don't think that's the, I don't know. X, because he wants, <laughs> he wants animals to come out of it. <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> my words sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I really feel blonde. I just have blonde moments sometimes. <laughs> oh. Look what's peeking out here. The moon. No, it's not the moon. I always confuse this card with the moon because of the moon. Maybe that's a sign. It's balance, right? It's the sun. It's, um, well, mm, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Pisces. Yin. Intuition, trust. Patience, spirituality, and receptivity. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe there is some kind of healing of chaos in a way. Tornado. Well, like I spoke about in yesterday's daily, there was tornadoes in Chicago, right? And also we spoke about this, like there's like tornadoes happening in countries where it was not. Well, it was never considered to be a tornado country. 
So it's like there is a shift, like something that never, that you might never have thought would come into your life is coming in. It has nothing to do with chaos, but it might feel chaotic or maybe it was chaotic, but now it's definitely turning. It's interesting that we do have the Mercury card and we are in Mercury retrograde. I'm pretty sure we are. I will just check. I just feel like I saw something about it. There's the song, by the way. <laughs> I'll be there. Okay. Mercury retrograde. No, no. I don't know. Where, where did I see? I saw something. <laughs> hmm. Is it because there's a shadow period, maybe? Someone help. Could that be? Because it's from August the 4th until August the 27th. Maybe you're being prepared for it. Well, that makes sense why we have the Mercury then. Relax, people. Mercury is not a retrograde. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> So you guys are definitely being um, prepared for it already. <laughs> being prepared for something. Maybe something that will happen in August. Maybe that's why I needed to look it up. So what is it today? What is it today? We have community and flow. Butterflies again. Something is happening. Look at that. Something very spiritual about today. Something about your community that will help you. It could be a neighborhood, it could be something online, friends. I mean, it could be everything, right? And there might be someone who's actually helping you. Maybe for some of you, there's something about someone who's pointing out that you can trust your intuition or you need to be patient with something yeah just let it flow if there's something that's stressing you out like there's some kind of confirmation today but also i feel we have gotten this a lot you're probably someone who could actually help a lot of people with whatever it is that you have been going through okay if you want it to be true or not <laughs> I have a tendency to say it like that. It sounds so dramatic, doesn't it? If you want it to be true or not. <laughs> Ancient forest. Let me just see if there's something we need to pay attention to here. Support is all around you. So yeah, support is all around you today. Again, network and community. It's actually interesting that we have the community and we actually have that here. Network and communication. Maybe there is something you're like talking about today opening up about it's going to definitely if you were one of those people who resonate with this energy of not sleeping at night i feel whatever this communication thing is about it would actually actually help you today i wonder if we are going to have the page of swords today pop up or the eight of wands something with communication allow yourself to be supported you will be supported today that is for sure 11 11 <laughs> thank you thank you for the support i mean thank you for the support you're always here you're always watching me listening to me liking the video <laughs> please do <laughs> subscribe to the channel book a private reading if you like i am open for private reading at the moment so grab the opportunity while it's there, while I have time. Okay, I just want to check out the flow. Maybe you are going fishing or <laughs> sitting by the river today. There are times to hold the tide to shore and there are times to enter the flow. Notice where life is going and move in that direction. So some of you guys, you're definitely being guided in a direction. And, but I still feel there's something here about talking with someone about something. Look at that. I mean, it is communication, but it's more the kind of communication where we talk things out. We talk about our pains. We talk about where we have, where we have been. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> what we've been going through. 
the sorrow is a, a card of forgiveness, a card of guilt, regret. Maybe there's something there. Probably. Didn't know where to go with that word. There probably. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. There probably has been a lot of healing. Maybe you have just rested. Maybe there's been sickness. Maybe some of you guys have been confused about something. Maybe there hasn't been clarity in a situation. With yourself or with someone. Right? Well, we will dig into it now, okay? Well, <laughs> that card, I wish sometimes that I could just take myself together and film the, the table. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a card doing a weird thing. You know what card it was? The freaking Ace of Cups. Did we have that? When did we have that? We had that at some point, right? Where it was the first card. That wanted to be heard. That card wanted to be heard and seen. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with someone who wants to offer you their undying love. Talk about feelings. Obviously, it is Ace of Cups, so it can be something with work as well. But I... 14, 14. I just want to point it out. Wow. That was a very interesting flip you did there, Ace. We also have the sun. Whatever this is, people, it's definitely someone who's taking action. We have Leo, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here. It's back. It's happy times. Maybe some of you guys are deciding to be self-employed instead of restricting yourself. I feel for a lot of you guys. I feel for a lot of you guys, this is something like you have been thinking about a lot, or if someone has been thinking a lot about it. it why is there a freaking card stuck in here? From another deck? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I think I'm a little bit mind blown today. Holy banana people. How is that possible? <laughs> what is this reading? Am I crying happy tears? <laughs> Control your happy tears. Wasn't that one of the messages? <laughs> Holy banana people. I don't know how this car decided to jump into this pile. <laughs> but it clearly did. Wow. Some of you guys, if you're single, if you know this person or not, I think that uh, someone is coming to claim your cup. <laughs> I'm giving you a cup, a cup of love. If we're just taking a step back and we're breathing through the situation, what just happened, right? Some of you guys are going to have a lot of success and a lot of luck when it comes to being self-employed or when it comes to your career. Again, the lovers can be the decision. So you're making a decision for yourself. Whatever makes you happy, you are like, this is what I want. But clearly, whatever this is, if it's you or someone else, there has been a discussion. That sounds so dramatic. There has been a talk with someone who helped them, or a community that helped them, something. Okay? Now we're going to look into the challenge. <laughs> Oh, Eight of Cups, no challenge. Because with this, I feel you have decided to to walk away from what is... Um, this is a returning card, by the way. Maybe some of you guys are moving back to your hometown or something. But you have decided to leave behind the past and start over, in a way, right? One cup is all it takes. You are not... If this is about law, for instance, Whoever comes your way is someone who's just coming with, like, it's a, it's a clean slate. It's it's one cup. It's not like I have a bag full with pain and sorrow with cups that has been used for, for past lovers. 
Uh, it might be someone that you haven't had contact with because they had to shape and form this new cup because it needed to be shaped and formed from new experiences. So maybe some of you guys haven't had contact with this individual for a very long time. Years, maybe. Could be month, could be days, could be hours. <laughs> Whatever it is, depending on how fast your person is working. <laughs> It's a clean slate. It's a new energy. It's like a child, childish energy, but it's like you can trust this with the Emperor. If it's about work... So you guys are definitely working. Yes, you are working. You are leaving behind... a career or something where you're like, I worked in this genre. I don't know what else I should call it. In this... Oh, hey. Uh, field for many 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 moons many years i know my thing but now i want to go after what i want to go after you've been speaking with family mem family members or someone close to you about this no matter if it's love or if it's career wow look at that look at this uh passionate energy of being like i know what i want <laughs> and you are manifesting it right <laughs> You were definitely manifest again. Anyway, now we are relaxing, okay? Not taking all these cards, Sandra. So that is a very, 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 very good energy. Something once again happened last time we had the, um, the full moon. I don't know why I'm still confused or afraid that I'm saying that it's last time we also had a full moon in Capricorn and then it's not a full moon in Capricorn, but I believe it is, right? Connecting with something is going to happen in some days. <laughs> the days. But damn, if this person is not coming towards you today, it will happen very soon, okay? Just want to say that. Or if it's uh, about you taking steps towards a new career or um, being self-employed, maybe the new client will come in some days, right? So what is the hope? There's actually something new that I wrote up that I also want to ask about. But we're going to do that after. What is the hope? <laughs> I said that he would come. <laughs> I said the page would appear. <laughs> and here is the page. Wow. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. <laughs> Whatever is being communicated to you, it's very good. Someone is definitely going to talk with you about this. But it might just be a little bit slow. Maybe this is something that you're speaking about with your community. Again, if it's not about love, I have to remember that not everyone is dealing with love. You're just like, you know, been on this journey. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. Oh, Mino for that confirmation. <laughs> How lovely when we hear confirmations from the outside world. Maybe something happened around you at that moment too. But yeah, you're openly discussing your feelings and it brings you hope. Yeah, you're talking about it, yeah. Damn, I came a long way. Okay, <laughs> what is the outcome? It's, it's kind of crazy. Well, standing up for yourself. Keep fighting, right? No matter if this takes seven more days. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. For some of you guys, maybe there is something that still needs to be cleared up. Maybe there's outside circumstances that still needs to be cleared up. With that, now is the right time to ask the question that is the new question in this series of daily readings. <laughs> oh. Season 12. <laughs> Episode 18. <laughs> My god, what's happening today? Um, so, what is that you don't see? How, how did I write this down? Um, what is coming that you are not seeing with this? I feel that's going to help us just analyze the uh, seven of wands. Let's take this from the... <laughs> Let's take this from the start, okay? So we have the devil reverse. 
for some of you guys, if this is about career, I feel like a lot of people are not seeing how f hard you have been working or what you have been letting go of. It might be something that was quite addictive or some kind of struggle. Obviously, it is Capricorn, so maybe there's something about this like Capricorn full moon, like the past month is maybe it really has been quite a top top turbulent, quite a dramatic uh, time for you. Maybe that's not something you need to talk about. You need to be open about it, right? For some of you guys, you might you are supposed to start at a job, or maybe you've been sick, and then you're starting at your job again, but. Your, empl your employees, well, maybe. <laughs> the people you're working with, they don't know what you've been going through. And maybe you're like, I'm not going to tell anyone what I've been going through. But I think in this case, you do need to actually speak honestly about what you have been going through. I do want to say that because people do not know what you've been going through. People cannot read your mind, okay? So for people to really understand, and I think you're going to be very surprised about the support that you actually get. That's for someone. Then, if we are talking about love, I mean, when it comes to love, this could still be something that someone doesn't really know what you've been going through, right? So you need to be honest about every little detail. <laughs> you can be honest, whatever this is. But also, there could, for some of you guys, if you're dealing with a no communication or a person and you're like, I don't know what's going on with this person. Maybe <laughs> maybe there has been a toxic person. Or maybe there has been a again a karmic. I know, we hate it. But I'm gonna say the word anyway. Maybe there has been a karmic. Maybe it's been a it's it's maybe it's, it was a contract, right? A karmic contract needed to to end. For some of you guys. I know. Sorry. Well, I'll be damned. Someone clearly did not want me to talk about that because the camera was shot without the beepily beep beep. Normally, when the camera shuts off, it says the sound. It did not. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Well, again, I, I am going to say it. Some of you guys might have been dealing with someone who actually protected you against someone. God forbid. <laughs> Where did that come from? Like I said, it could have been a quite dramatic, toxic environment. <laughs> okay? Well, someone clearly didn't want me to say that with the camera just shutting off, but yeah. Or maybe it's just someone who's been dealing with addictions. Bad habits, something. But I mean, clearly with the Seven of Wands, you can see that he's like fighting things off, right? Left and right. It's like one thing after another. And you haven't, again, it's the, the the answer, the question for what you're not seeing. And we did ask what's coming. It could obviously still be something that's happening, right? It could still be something that's happening. I know some of you guys are going to be like, Sandra, give me a time frame. I shall not do that. We will let this unfold. When it unfolds, people, patience. I will show you the card. Patience. <laughs> you just do you, boo. <laughs> A man, whoever you are dealing with this. Um, if this is love, it's quite a spiritual connection, that's for sure. If it's uh, something to do with work, maybe there is something about spirituality a work or something coaching something putting spirituality into it maybe that's hard for you to talk about i don't know i think this daily reading is already quite long so i'm not going to dazzle around with my my cards and <laughs> dazzle around with my cards but i will give you this may may might have been quite significant with something that happens See me dazzling around with my cards again. Work, achievements and success. So that's what what has been, what you have been working on maybe since May. Or that is what's happening now. Right? What it mean career? There might be something with career. Yeah. Someone is behaving stupidly. <laughs> well, maybe there is someone who is very stupid. Co-worker or something. It'll just begin. It will be taken care of. But wow, people, wow, 
Thank you. Have a magical freaking day with all these jumpers and twists and turns and uh, they. Thank you. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.